Today we'll learn how to use power tools. <laughs> Welcome back collectors. So very unfortunately, I've had some broken parts on my golden demon diorama. The bottom ghoul has a couple of broken fingers and I have to buy a replacement set so that I can get these fingers fixed. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use a power tool and get him off his scenic base. So let us begin. Okay, so first, uh, this is the ghoul that I have a problem with. Uh, surprisingly, GW has arranged their goods uh, really nicely now. Uh, it co all comes in one area, so it's very easy to cut out. So as you can see, there are some toes on the terrain, which I have to remove uh, and paste it onto the miniature. So this is what the power tool is going to be used for. The first step, I'm going to use a clipper, just very quickly clip it up, just so that uh, I can start working on the little bits. So as you can see, it's very roughly done. If you want to learn how to assemble miniatures, look out for our assembling miniatures video. Uh, there will be still some nubs here which we will be cleaning up very uh, later on. Okay, so this is the final result of the just cutting only. As you can see, uh, there are some toes and stuff on the base and now I'm going to show you how to remove them. So here are some of my favorite tools. I use the diamond blade. I use this screwdriver thing, a small one. And this weird tool with a abrasive surface. I uh, just want to bring up this thing so that you guys can have a closer look. So this weird tool with a abrasive surface has a little hook, uh, edge and a flat surface. So I usually use it to just get rid of uh, burrs and I use it to flatten surfaces sometimes. So first and foremost, I use the, the drill and I start drilling checkpoints. So this allows me to very accurately uh, drill out the, the shape which I want to get rid of and look at this skull over here I can even do checkpoints around it and after the checkpoints as you can see on the other leg I'm also creating checkpoints uh, yeah, just drilling up the areas and as you can see just taking out the checkpoints is so easy just start drilling from one checkpoint and just move from checkpoint to checkpoint at this stage you want to be focused on removing chunks and chunks of plastic rather than going into detail okay sorry for the blurred image and this is the result that you should be getting, just two chunks of plastic. Next, I'll be using the diamond blade. So with the diamond blade, uh, you got to make sure that it's fully inserted. And I'm going to use the side of the diamond blade to draw out and remove smaller chunks. As you can see, just moving, just little, it's sort of like shaving. Use it as, as a blade to shave away bits and pieces of plastic. With this tool, you can rel uh, relatively achieve quite a good detail, but I'm going to show you how to get even more detail after this. Okay, always make sure that you remember the, the shape of your tool, and you can use the tool to like sort of like flatten and reduce the, the thickness of the piece of plastic. Uh, I like to use my finger to just like sort of like rub off the excess plastic. As you can see, just, just need to slowly, slowly grind it away, then use your fingers to pull off the excess. Sometimes the plastic does melt and you just gotta slowly pluck it off. Now we are on the smaller piece and you see with the diamond uh, the diamond blade you can just very very easily cut and shave off uh, bits and pieces like this. This huge chunks also can be removed by the diamond and just plucked off by your fingers. Okay, so as you can see the, the edge of the blade can achieve relative uh, detail. However, I tend to use a thicker blade first because the thinner blade tends to jam Okay, so I use this uh, flat surface to remove burrs. So I'm just sort of like just pressing it. The movement is more like pressing it into the, the plastic, just grinding it away. Because it's an abrasive surface, it just gets rid of uh, volumes of plastic pretty easily. Okay, so I just use it to shave off the relative shape first. I just want to make sure that I get as close as possible to the toes before going to detail because if you go into detail too, too early it's going to take so much time to shave off chunks and chunks of plastic okay so while you shave off chunks of plastic you also want to make sure that the thickness is as thin as possible so that the detail the detail too can go in a lot easier later 
All right. So now with the tool in this shape, I'm going to use the drill again. I'm going to use the drill to further thin down the surface that I need to shave away later. So just using the side of the drill, I'm just going to shave away the bits and pieces of plastic. Uh, this is a very gentle process, you just want to do it as slowly as possible. Uh, some of this footage is actually sped up, so please don't rush this process. Okay. So at this stage, I'm also thinking maybe I don't need the, the hole at the back, I'm just going to shape away the hole. So I'm just going to shape, slowly shape away the, the plastic. Um, this is me this is me doing the work uh, if, as you can see I tend to do this work slightly further away from the with my eyes slightly further away from the miniature so that I can see uh, with uh, binocular vision it's very often you doing close-up work you might close one eye and can be quite dangerous so make sure you open both eyes as much as possible okay because my fingers are not that dexterous, I'm just going to paste the toes onto the miniature so that I'm working with a larger piece of mini rather than trying <laughs> trying to fidget around with just the five toes. I'm just going to paste the toes in. Make sure that the glue is fully dry before you start grinding again. Okay, It's also very important to make sure that you have, your, the toes are in the right orientation. So now I'm going to go in with this uh, very fine saw. So this, this blade is a lot finer, but as I mentioned before, the fine blade tends to get jammed when you stick it really deep into the plastic. Okay, at this stage, right, sometimes I do close one eye to make sure that uh, I, I'm focused. The downside to tro closing one eye is that you lose your depth perception, and the dangerous thing is you might cut your fingers. So please be very careful at this stage. I've heard stories about people using this tool, and they don't even feel the pain when they get cut. What they see is a red mist flying out. So please be very, very careful. User discretion is highly advised. The good thing is that uh, you can even go in between the goose toes as you can see over here. And you will see the final results in just a little bit. So this is the final results. With a knife, I like to scrape away the, the excess plastic instead of my fingers because now my fingers can't fit between the toes. I'm just going to use a knife to scrape in between the plastic to make sure I remove as much material as possible. And after that, of course, we can start priming and we can start painting the miniature and filling the gaps, etc. etc. So, collectors, those are some tips of me using the power tool. As you can see, it can achieve very 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 fine details but it comes with so much practice so always be very careful do you like what you see about the golden demon diorama head on to the patreon and you can see even more exclusive content right there i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like this video please like subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can see more of such content and know when we post videos and if you really want to support the channel do become a patron today and get early access and exclusive content for patrons i want to create a very nice close-knit family of uh, passionate painters so that we can become better painters together so i'll see you in the next video guys see you